Swami Vivekananda is widely known throughout India and in the many other countries. But have you ever wondered what Swami Ji was like when he was a little boy? What things did he like and dislike? What kind of a friend he was? What was important to him? This book will tell you. <clears throat> the story of his childhood and answer those questions is also had stories about his teen years, few details about his adult life and the important message he left for young people. Naren is born into Datta's family. Before Swami Vivekananda was born, his parents had two children, a son and a daughter, both of whom died soon after their birth. His mother Bhuvaneshwari Devi was very sad. The next three children was the next three children that she had were all daughters Haramoni, Swarnamayi and a third girl who died during childhood. This made her wish for a son and for that she constantly prayed to Lord Shiva, observing difficult meditations and fasts. Every Monday, the special day of Shiva, an aunt living in Varanasi made offerings at the temple of Vishveshwar Siva. There, and Bhuvaneshwari Devi would worship Siva and make special offerings in Kolkata on the same day. After two years of prayer and worship, Shiva answered Bhuvaneshwari's prayers. One night, she had a vivid dream of Shiva in his meditation and realized that he had granted her request. Not long after this vision, a lovely bright little boy was born to her. The day was Monday, 12th January 1863, a sacred day for Indians and the time was 6 minutes before sunrise, the most holy time of the day. On that day, people go for holy bath in the river Ganga. Very early in the morning, without knowing it, they all welcomed a baby Narain with their prayers. This baby boy, a gift from heaven, later became known to the world as Swami Vivekananda. With his own inner brightness, he would awaken the entire world.